Hello. <sighs> Another video from me today. Uh, this time something different. Yippee. Um, so <laughs> I've actually current been in my current st state of wriggling round. <sighs> sitting on the floor, squiggling about on that chair for about, what time is it? Oh, three hours. <laughs> um, I'm absolutely shattered. Um, this is um, called dyskinesia, which is um, brought on by medication, believe it or not. <laughs> And it, you know, it's good because I can, you know, I can move. But it's just that I'm moving around a bit too much. Um, I'm absolutely knackered. I am. I planned to do a few things today with my fingers crossed. However, I've done sod all. Because, as you can see, I actually haven't got great control over my body movements at the moment. I had um, actually quite a bad wearing off um, before this happened, where I was just like a, a statue in the kitchen, half slid down the kitchen cupboards and like just static couldn't move and which in turn brought on an anxiety attack which um just to explain to anyone who's interested i cannot help um and even though i've had parkinson's for eight years as my son reminded me uh, when he saw me having the anxiety attack he wondered what the hell was going on because he often doesn't say, you know, I, I do, I do try to hide a lot of stuff from him. Um, he's 17, um, he's 18 in a few months time. Some might argue he's old enough to see, but I have sort of like hidden a lot from him. Like he doesn't often see me having bad times because you know, I don't really want him to, <laughs> if he doesn't have to, because it's not nice. Anyway, today, I think it's the first time you see me in, in the state, you know, quite a bad state of, in the, you know, having an anxiety attack, because, yes, I've had Parkinson's for eight years, so, yeah, you know, I pretty much know what's coming in a day. Um, you know, whether it's good or bad. Um, whether I can move or not, I know that you know something's going to kick off at some point during the day. Um, anyway, yeah, so so I had a quite a bad wearing off, and I was half slid down my kitchen cupboard in like a mannequin pose, couldn't move. I was trying to take tablets at the time and drink a cup of coffee, which was nigh on impossible. But when I have these panic attacks, I cannot help it. Um, I am not in control of what my body is doing. Um, I know what I'm doing and I'm aware of what I'm doing, but it's almost as if you get taken over by something else. You know, I'm trying to explain it to people. You know, when you're there going, <laughs> you know, and you're crying, you're whimpering, and then the next minute you want to smash the house up, you can't move, you know, you're frozen, you can't move. You know, you're making stupid bloody grunting noises like a cow in labour. You know, and you're just frozen to the spot. And it's, and it's horrible, so I was sobbing. You know, I was going, <laughs> you know, I must have looked the right state of idiot or like I needed help. You know, and I was trying to take tablets. I couldn't open the packet. Couldn't pick my coffee up. He had to get the milk out of the fridge for me. Oh, it's just, 
it's horrendous. You know, and then afterwards I sort of shouted him and I said, listen, mate, I'm okay. This happens all the time, but you don't, you rarely, you haven't seen it really, which he hasn't. Today's probably the first time in eight years he's actually seen anything as bad as that. Um, but I was just quite nice after because we sort of had a really massive chat together and, you know, I made him cuddle me and I made him give me a kiss. You know, which he did do, which was really, which was really lovely. It was really nice, and we had a laugh and a giggle. Um, he's gone out now with his friends. I don't blame him. Um, so I've just been like squiggling around on this chair, sort of like sliding off it half the time. I've attempted to open a load of mail, <laughs> which has just been slung on the floor, as you can see. I've nearly broken my phone charger because I've had my phone in my hand wriggling around so the charger thing end is bent to hell um, oh god I've got my thing let me just put this down if I can because yeah so you can see my lovely hair that's scraped back off my face and yeah so when this finishes after the three hours I've had it for now I'll probably be rendered immobile again Oh, and it's just like, it's just one massive, it's just one massive fight every day for us and people just don't understand, you know, like I'm like this now, or I've been like this for three hours, I'm knackered, you know, I've been, tw my hands have been twisting round, my face has been pulling funny faces that I can't control. I've had a massive anxiety attack, which is exhausting in itself. You know, that I can't control, I'm not, I'm not doing it, it's not me. It's, you know, Parkinson's is a brain disease at the end of the day. And, you know, it affects everything about the person. You're like, when I have, a, when I have an off time and I'm really slow and I can't move, yes, I probably do come across like I'm a miserable cow. You know, because I can't talk properly because I can't move my mouth properly. You know, I, I'm, I'm not enthusiastic about anything because I can't bloody turn around to look at anything. I can barely put one foot in front of the other. You know, so yeah, it does piss me off. And yeah, it does bring me down. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm human. I'm not like a superwoman, you know? And then, but then, as soon as I switch, switch on again, eventually my whole personality changes you know and I become a happier me I become more you know lively and more you know engaging and so yeah you know a brain disease affects your personality your emotional state you know your movement your ability to do things your thinking I mean when I'm on an off time, I don't even know what planet I'm on. I, I, I just glaze over and I can't remember things. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing half the time. But then as soon as I'm on, I'm back to like, uh, you know, being quite intelligent, believe it or not. And it's just, you go through these things every day of the week and it's so hard. You know, just imagine like living your life, changing personalities changing your abilities you know two three times a day it's it's bloody you know it's bloody taxing on anyone um so anyway there you go another video you're gonna get sick of me doing these videos because i'm quite <laughs> i'm quite enjoying all this to be honest well not enjoying it but i've had a lot of people messaging me and you know, a lot of support and, you know, people who have said, you know, I'm glad you put your video on because I feel like that as well. And, you know, I've, I've said, I wish I was dead. Well, so have I, you know, I, I would never do it. You know, I haven't got the guts for a start off. You know, I would never ever do it, but that's how you feel. You know, I've woken up in the morning and thought, oh God, not again because you just you get sick of it and yes you know we've had it for however many years we've had it to make it any easier to handle you know just because we know what's coming 
you, it doesn't make it any easier. And, you know, people just don't understand unless you've actually been through it yourself, it's, you just wouldn't understand. I mean, I got accused of being pissed in the queue in the shop. You know, I've been refused entry to bars and things like that because people think I'm drunk. You know, and when I'm like this, I'm not surprised. You know, I can tumble around my own kitchen and look like I'm, I've had, a, you know, a really good day on the wine. But unfortunately, it's not the case. <laughs> um, yeah, so another insightful video from little old me, eh? Um, I did do a little bit of exercising this morning, but not as much as I did just didn't go on my bike today. There was no chance of that happening. Didn't sleep a wink last night. So I've been awake for nearly, well, well, I've been awake for 24 hours. Um, and that's because insomnia is part of having Parkinson's as well. Believe it or not, one of our lovely symptoms that we can have, not everyone, but most of us. It was probably one of my first ones, actually. I think I, think I went six months with about an average of two hours sleep per night and didn't know what was going on. It was at the end of my tether, you know, and it turns out that, you know, yes, that was part of it and it continues to be part of it every day so yeah zero hours sleep um and this now so hopefully it'll change soon because i want to go do something i've done absolutely sod all all day oh and i just feel i feel like a waste of time um, I couldn't even eat my lunch because I couldn't sit still long enough to eat it, so I just grabbed a handful of biscuits instead. Because um, quite often that is what I do. I don't do, you know, I don't cook meals or anything like that. Because I can't, <laughs> I can't on time. <sighs> anyway, I've waffled on long enough. I'm really sorry if I'm boring you. Um, Kate, check it out again. Bye.